Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about vest holsters, how I carry my backup gun, stuff that I would recommend, stuff I wouldn't recommend, and how you should carry it. First off, I'm going to tell you right now, this holster here, it's pretty cheap. I think I bought it for 12 bucks back in 2004. Yeah. And uh, it's from Uncle Mike's. They don't make this anymore. I looked it up before I made this video. And uh, don't buy it. If you ever come across something like this, it fits right here on the, and it's even, I don't know if you can see it, but it's coming apart. It fits here on the straps, like so. And you can put your gun in it, but it, it's gonna wear out the straps. It's, you know, I've had problems where the, the firearm would go behind the vet, behind the holster. But don't get something that straps onto the strap. Don't get a holster that straps onto the, the straps. It's, we'll go over a budget friendly one here. Don't get that. The next holster we're going to kind of go over is the 511 holster. It literally is the 511 holster. It, this is an older model. I bought this way back when they first came out back in the early 2000s. And it's been a pretty good holster. Uh, it came with this, it's it's looped on the holster. It comes with this hook pattern that you can just put right there. Let me take this holster off. And the way way I wore it is I cut, it came with a pretty big deal, big hook deal right here. I just cut it down, just fit the holster, kind of put it right here, kind of put a little cant, and kind of put it on like that. And for the most part, it worked. It worked really well. Uh, they do come with thumb snaps. You don't really need them. But never had any issues when I would t take it in and out. Uh, if you carry a Glock, you kind of know, and yes, it's already unloaded. The last thing you want to do is hit the trigger for it to go off. When you're putting it in, having it caught, never had that issue with this holster. With the cheaper holster I just showed you, I did. It's afraid of hit the trigger, but yeah. It's a perfect little holster. It's great. Never had any problems with it slipping. If you have the Velcro on this side here, you're not gonna, you can use the strap to hold it in place and half of it on the, half it on the holster, half it on the vest. Never had any issues. It's a great holster for $20. They do have something else, uh, a different model. A new, they've updated it with, has a all loop. up rolling a picture. Of it, but yeah, I if if but if you're on a budget, this holster works really well. Okay, so the next holster we're going to talk about is the crossbreed holster. This is the Mattac holster, and it runs about forty dollars. And it's not it's it's a Kydex holster with leather Velcro. Goes in like that. You can set it right there and put it over like just like so. Never had any issues with I. It did have some issues with it. It doesn't have any Velcro right here. So one of the things that will happen is that the vest would start to slide down a little bit. There's not much support holding it. Uh, they do have another one called the backup, or the last ditch holster, I'm sorry, which runs about uh, $42. It's designed for backup guns. I got this because it had some leather right here and I really just didn't want, the, had some leather right here, just didn't want the leather to interfere with the draw. With the draw and uh yeah that's if you're going to buy one of these i like if, if you want something that's kydex get some buy the velcro for it put it on there it's going to run about three four dollars according to their website but yeah i i really liked it but like i said my only problem with it was there's no velcro right here and when you put this on it would slide down on the vest yeah the next holster we're going to review is the Gladius Vest Holster. This runs about $80 on the website. Altogether, I paid about $90. This thing is, I think this is the ultimate vest holster, well worth the investment. You have tension straps, it's Kydex, hook, hook, hook on one side, loop on the other. You can draw it up, up and down, or if you want to, you can draw it up, up and down. 
If you need to, you can dry it up and pull it out like that. Kind of, I always put it at kind of a little angle right there. And it goes over and never had any issues with it moving around. Wore it just like that under my armpit as a cross draw. I can get to it with my left hand. And that's important too if you need to get to your firearm with your opposite hand. All these holsters you can do that with. But yeah, if I needed to, I can draw it out like that. I don't have to do it up and down. That's what, like these two holsters. And uh, yeah, they do make, I don't know if they make it for the Gen 5s. I didn't see anything on their website. They've been, uh, their website was down for a while. It's back up now. But I, if you have the money, this is definitely one worth, one worth purchasing. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask below. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on how to access your weapons if it's your backup gun and your vest. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, let me know if you have any questions. Ask them, and I'll see you in the next video.